Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Trading Places. We are in the final five levels as we are taking on no returns, no refunds. So let's see what we've got going on here. Um, there's some teleport action, some teeth action. Um, okay, I'm, I'm trying to figure out exactly what to expect here. Okay, so I, I just need to go through this, I guess. Do I push this up? Apparently not. That would have been too easy, right? But do I push it down? That's the question. Okay, that was definitely super risky. Why did I do that? That didn't make any sense at all. But let's try to do that in a less risky way. I'm curious to know if there's a better way. go back. Oh, we have to go through here, right? Oops. Um. Oh, that's right. You're going to actually chase me. The tank won't. I do not like that room. Okay, I think I see something we can do here. Yeah, there we go. Oops. Um, let's try going back. I think that'll beat for the best. wasn't exactly what I meant to do, but uh, I suppose I could work. There we go. Alright, so now that's blocked. Uh. Really? Uh. I can tell this is going to be an interesting time. I'm sure there's like a more methodical way of doing this. There we go. I like this method that we came up with here. I think that's uh, pretty solid. Okay. Okay, I don't want to lure you up that far. I just want to get you... No. No! That's not what I meant. Okay. There we go. There! That's all I needed. That's all I needed. <laughs> it's just that. Okay. Is there anything else we can do or is that... Okay, there's other rooms. Okay. I'm... Are these all like partial post puzzles? I'm so curious like how... Like what exactly is the... What? How are we progressing here? Like, what is? How do we know that we're making? Okay. I guess that will be like the end thing because I see that we're going to get to a toggle button. So, okay, let's work on some of these other ones. So this room here. Okay. Um, are these just go through the teleports and get the stuff? Okay, that was oh, pfft. that was stupid of me. I, I panicked. I went out and mm. no, don't do that. I don't think this room is actually that difficult. It's just there. We just keep do making silly mistakes on this. Okay, I didn't mean for the tank to... I hate the fact that the tank just gets blocked up like that. There. 
get out of there. Yeah, as long as we can do that first, then that's not so bad. Okay, just get out of here. So basically what I'm seeing here is that we just need to go through each of these rooms and they're kind of like one-time affairs, like we can't do anything more with them. So what is this block all about? Are we supposed to block up a teleport with us or... I don't get it. There we go. I'm always worried that the blob's gonna go up and then I'm gonna have to like course correct midstream there. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, that is that. Okay, that's actually really simple. Unless we need to use these later. Maybe we need to use them later. Let's see what's going on with this. Okay. So I just need to get you over to that bomb. Simple enough. Oh, I forgot that there was a chip there. Okay, <laughs> I didn't need to actually blow that up. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. All right, where have we not gone yet? We have not gone down here. This one looks pretty straightforward, except... Yeah, we just have to be mindful of interrupting the pattern. So what are you all about, this block? Are we trying to, like, block up the teleport? Like, I'm really curious to know what's going to happen if we do that. Have we exhausted everything here? Not this. Okay. Ooh, I like this pattern. I don't think I've ever seen that kind of pattern in one of these, in a tank level before. That's interesting. Okay, let's go up here. Ooh, a glider room. Okay, so I can't actually go through there. Okay, let's just dodge here for now. Okay. Whew! That was uh, kind of intense. I was not expecting to make it out of that one alive. If we have to redo this level, then I'm going to go there second, I think. Okay, so let's go down here next. I don't know how strict this is, so I'm going to... kind of just play it safe. But it doesn't look like it is. It's just going through and getting everything. Alright, I don't like having to run back to over here, but that's fine. Okay, how do we get, is that like the path back from wherever this is? I have to assume, yeah. Okay, we have one more room on this side and it's apparently getting in there. Okay. So my first question right off the bat is, do we even get a blue key? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no to blue keys. Which, if that's the case, then... Wait a minute. I don't think pushing this down is actually the right answer, because if I did that, I would need three blocks and... Oh wait, no, I can, I can do it. I can do it. I just have to push that one to the right. And then all the others should be retrievable after that. I was operating under the assumption that we had to do a wedge there, which we don't, so that's good news. That's a cool puzzle, I like that. By the way, this wall layout is a uh, foreign noise um, from Josh L7. So what are we missing still? We, we have this. Okay, that's where we would come out 
if we had if we blocked the teleport. So let's do that. Okay. You'll need to block off these teleports to reach to be able to reach the next room. These teleports? Like what's these? I'm a little confused. But I think I know where we're headed here. So I can get that. So here's my question. Okay, I can get back through here, but that's not really super helpful. How do I turn a block around to be able to get there? Is there like another way out? So I'm worried that if I slide across that, I'm going to end up right at that recessed wall. So if I go through the recessed wall, that's going to be problematic because I'm going to eventually need to position something here to be able to go around. And if I do that and I block this off, then where do I go after that, right? Like that I don't understand. I mean, I can understand that there's two ways out of here. How do I get that? That's so bizarre. Yeah, this part I don't understand. Oh, there isn't a, a recessed wall. Okay, never mind. Okay, well, in that case... I'm definitely doing this. For some reason, I thought there was a recessed wall there. Alright, let's run to that chip first, just so I can take care of that in case there's some kind of ordering issue here. I don't think Jeffrey would do that, but uh, you never know at this point in the set. Okay, so we got that. So now let's try going through again. Ah, there we go. So, what are we accomplishing here? We're trying to... I'm assuming we're trying to get the uh, teleport there blocked. And I think I see what we would need to do. All we would need is just... Oh, I see the trick. Okay. So, I, I need to do something similar here where... I position one in front and then go do this again and then go all the way around that's a cool puzzle I like that alright what do we have next hit me ooh we have deserted battlefield territory alright so this is gonna be interesting because if we're supposed to like put blocks in front of the stuff here Okay, I think I have to push this left. Like, I don't have any choice here. So I could go push that down, but I don't think I want to because then I'm going to block my path. So I'm going to refrain from doing that. Let's just leave it like that for now. Go over here. So I'm going to make a bunch of blocks hot. Okay, so there's the end. So I think what we need to do here is just do this. Hopefully that's correct. Yes! Okay, so now we're apparently back here at the tank area which is a little concerning okay what are we doing here is this just like a maze to get through everything this is interesting so this, I, I saw an exit like it was near where like around here somewhere 
Let's try going this way. Here it is, right here. That was a really fun level. I liked that. It works really well for 146 as well. Like, it has a lot of action. I feel like 146 having action is really cool. Like, I think it, it's worked well in CCLB2. And 4, because it had ja Japanese game show. 3 had suspended animation, which wasn't really... Well, I guess it kind of was an action level because everything woke up. But it was mostly a block-pushing level. And then CCLP1 had um, Cineworld, which I wouldn't really classify that as an action level, but or, or Cakewalk either, to, for at least for the most part. But I think it, action levels really work well for 146. All right, 147, Crypto Walker. Let's see what we have in store here. Um, I believe this is the final, altogether final template that's not in either UC6 or Josh L7, because I've seen this one. Um, in previews and in the sets. This is based on the level skating rinks from, is it UC3 or 4? I forget. It's one of those. There are 23 obtainable keys, all of which are required. Okay, so yeah, this level involves some stuff. Um, definitely some stuff. Getting all these keys. Thankfully, it's untimed, which kind of makes it easy to... Whoops, did not mean to do that. The, the only issue here is that you kind of have to watch where you're going, and it's hard to tell where things are headed, especially in the MS rule set, I think. Okay, so I, I can't really cross through there, I don't think. Yeah, that's not happening. So let's go down this way. So this kind of reminds me of a couple levels. Um, one of them is a level I made recently called the Circle of Strife, which is, a, of course, a reference to the Lion King song. And I did not watch where I was stepping there. Um, and that the idea behind that level was I wanted to make something that was like a maze, but it was dictated by monster patterns. And by like the order in which they moved. And I think the, the whole thing was kind of a little too strict in a lot of ways. I feel like this is a much more interesting take on this idea just because it's very, whoops. It's very open and so you can kind of observe stuff more easily. I'm kind of surprised this is 147 though. It's not really a puzzle per se, but uh, I guess Josh and Jeffrey wanted to do something a little different. I mean, I guess it's kind of a puzzle. It's more of a movement puzzle. Okay, there we go. Yeah, as long as you watch where you're going, I don't think this is that bad. Okay, so I can't go through there. But I can go through here. Oh, I see. I can go back through this. Can I? Yeah. I looked at both and they didn't seem possible to go through. I don't know if that's actually the case or not, but like... Let me, let me try that again. I thought it was at first and then I doubted myself and now I'm not sure. Like, if I could get down there, I could get to that. But I, I can't do that from here. It's interesting how the, like, one-way direction of stuff plays into this. Alright, go down here again. Like here, I have to get that key going that way. There's no other way to do that. Okay, so here's one of the breaks here. This is where a couple of the skating rinks split off or split between rooms. I hope there aren't like any real traps in here in the sense that you can't see them coming. 
That'd be a little nasty, I think. Okay, so we've reached the bottom. Hmm. Okay, I can get that one. Okay, I can't go through there. It's nice when you can kind of test them out a bit. Hmm, I don't think I can go through that either. But I can go over here. And through this. Okay, I can't get that one there with the bugs kind of overlapping it. I can get you. But not those, it would seem. Except for maybe this one. See, I'd have to believe that this is somehow possible. Like. Yeah, you could do that. See, I just had to wait one move. That was my issue there. Okay, so now we're back here. So you can kind of snake around back here. Like, you don't necessarily have to go here at the start. So that's kind of cool. I like the fact that that's possible. Okay, so now we go... Can we go back and just check? Ooh, we have a lot more to go. Okay. Well, let's get to it then. Wait. Did I? No. Okay, there we go. I was like, did I trap myself? I don't think I did. It's hard without the keys because the keys are kind of nice, like, waypoints for you to look at. I don't think I can get either of those, can I? Wait, no I can. I just have to go this way. That's cool, I like that. Okay, I feel like I did not thoroughly explore this. Yeah, there's one here. Yeah, I like this way more than my level. This is way more interesting and, to be honest, way more fun. Okay, I'm curious if we can get, like, an updated count for, like, where we're seat sitting right now with these. I see one key there that looks like it's... Yeah, I think we missed that one earlier. Let's swing around and get that. Except, wait a minute, this is not the way. How do you get through that? There's got to be a way in there, right? Like, maybe that's why we didn't get it earlier. We couldn't figure this out. Let's try waiting one move. Yeah, that's the way. Okay, so that's a bunch of keys that we didn't get earlier, so maybe that's enough. I'm not actually counting on that, but... This is a cool concept. The, um, the other level, I, I mentioned there were two levels, and I forgot to mention what the other one actually was. The other level that this reminds me of is one that Jeffrey made called Lab Basement. Did I mention that earlier? Maybe I did. Who knows? My memory is not great right now <laughs> okay we need to get this okay I feel pretty good about the number we have let's see if it works ah one more ooh that's the worst 
Also, H-E-I-C. I feel like I have that password used in one of my own levels. Is that the case? No! I, I hesitated. I hesitated right there. I hate hesitating. And I did it anyway. Oh, that sucks. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let's, uh... Let's try to get all the keys again, and hopefully we'll make it back without too much of an issue. I don't think the dodging in this level is really all that bad. It's just... You would really have to just be on your toes. Just make sure you're not running into stuff, and you're... You'll probably be fine. Okay. So let's come up through there at the end. Well, we do. Oh, wait, no, I have to do this now because I can't go back, right? My bad. Is there anything over here that we missed? I'm just checking to see if we can identify any potential. Like, the one over there seems to be obtainable, but I'm not sure if that's actually the case or not. And I just went right into the thing there. Because usually when there's a bunch together, I'm inclined to think that some of them are obtainable and some of them aren't. But... Of course, Josh is not known for necessarily following patterns. In fact, I think more often than not, he tends to break them. Maybe that's a pattern. Ooh. Okay. If I can just, like, follow the pattern of, like, going down and then clockwise around, I think that should be fine. I think I went back up and I didn't realize the bug path was there. Alright, let's... Can I... No, I cannot get that one. I'm really paranoid that I'm going to miss one now. I think that's what's bothering me. Like, I don't want to miss any more stuff. And yet I know I probably will at the end of the day. this way there we go okay I think I see what we need to do here There we go. I feel like I missed one of those bug keys, but I could be wrong. Okay, there we go. I was like, where do I stop? I didn't want to buffer again, so... Okay, I can't get that one. So this is the one we were looking at earlier. Okay, that one right there... I feel like that should be obtainable. Maybe this is the one we missed because we were so excited to get back up here. I bet it actually was now that I'm thinking about it. Oh! <laughs> wow. I just went right in there without even thinking about like the fact that that was where the Paramecium was looping. I don't know why. It was so weird. But I feel like the path we have is pretty solid. Like, I feel pretty good about this. As long as we just stick to this path, um, I think we can kind of keep ourselves in check. You know, just give us something to key off of. See what I did there? Key. Never mind. Okay, get that. Go up here. 
No, okay. Cool. Make sure to get this one added here. Okay, let me get you over here too. This is kind of tricky because it's kind of, it looks like it's impossible, but it's really not, you know? I like that though. I think it gives the level some, some challenge. Pfft, oh. I, I didn't re remember where the safe space was and I was like, okay, where is it? Where is it? And then I just panicked. I need to stop panicking. Like I cannot help it sometimes. go good yeah I figured the rest of the top room keys we can get on the way back when we go up the left side I feel like that's gonna be more useful than the way we were doing it earlier where we were just kind of like bouncing around a bunch and I should have just gotten that one at that point okay here we go again there we go. That's what I wanted to do. And that's the space I wanted to get to earlier when we unceremoniously died. Okay. I see the two we need to get here. Okay, so this one... Can I get that? I don't think so, because if I follow that, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure I'm just gonna go, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna be stuck in there if I try following that. I'm curious if this is possible. Like, this does not seem like I should be able to get that, but. Let me try something here, real quick. Okay, that is doable. But I think that was doable because we actually went against the grain for a minute there. I don't know if I can say the same about that down there. But I guess we can figure that out if we ever come back to that point. Or if we need to get more keys. Okay, I... I can't get that one there. Alright. Let's see how much, what the damage is here. Hey! We got it! Alright, so that one was impossible. I kind of figured as much because you couldn't do the little weave move there that you did, that we did on at that other point. So, that was cool. That was cool. I liked that one. Crypto Walker. That was, that was fun. I enjoyed it. Alright. Should I do the next one? I'm going to say yes, just because the last two... I don't know how long they're going to take. They both seem like pretty epic levels, so I'm going to try this one. Dread Freight, which is obviously a play on Dead Freight. Um, so let's just try to get across, I guess? Um, whoops, I did not mean to do that, for sure. All right, let's see. So first order of business is, how do we get in there? I'm assuming we need to do something out here. Like this. So I can't get in through those things. So, And I noticed that there was an open tile down here without a bomb, so that seems to be kind of a clue. All right, let's figure this out. If, these, if there are blocks on the edge, I'm kind of more inclined to use those instead of, like, ramming things in here. 
Okay, I can't actually turn one around in there. That's a shame. But, wait a minute. I could do that. Okay, yeah. Let's try this. So I'm wondering, if, is this place at 148 as a kind of reference to mind block? That'd be kind of interesting if that were the case. Okay, I don't know if we're supposed to even do anything out here or if we're supposed to pursue stuff over here. Or maybe even go out here. That might be the ticket, but there's all these blocks in the way, so... Eh, do I want to push that across? Right now, I don't really see any reason not to, so... Okay, well, there's a reason not to. So it seems like the next big kind of checkpoint here is... Okay, I, I'm seeing some possibilities. So I think what I want to do is I want to create some kind of loop here that will allow us to uh, do stuff, push stuff over there. I hope that pushing that to the right wasn't the, the, the wrong choice. I don't think it is, but I guess we'll see. So how many do we need all in all? We need three at least, maybe four. So I have two right here, a third one there. I'm going to push this here because I can see a way to get stuff up here. And if we can use all the blocks we can get, I will be totally down for that. Okay, I, I think just one more is fine. All right, there we go. Although now I'm starting to wonder, do I need to get even more than that down here? I'm beginning to think the answer might be yes. I'm worried that we may have squandered some potential block usages here. Just based on the fact that maybe you could have gone through here. I, I don't remember what the, the old state of this was. But I'm going to just keep going until I know I'm done. We still have these to use, so... I kind of don't want to push anything up into the locks until I know for sure that that's fine. Yeah, so this is the... Oh no, we have one more up there. Just when I thought I was out, they give me one more and pull me back in. Okay. So if I can get three more blocks, that would be amazing. So is there anything over here? No. Okay. I'm convinced that we could still be more economical with our blocks. Like, I think that's pretty safe to say at this point. But it seems like this part here is kind of the central puzzle, if you want to call it that. So let's do this. I'm going to do this, and then this, and then I'm going to push you up here. Get this. Oh my gosh, is this it? Do we get it? Okay. So now, I made it over here. Is the exit, like right there all right I think we just have to bridge over there somehow I'm just seeing if there's like any loop around that I can use but I'm not really noticing one so 
I'm gonna go ahead and push that right there. Okay, I have an idea. Let's do this. Push you there. Maybe the exit's not here. Maybe it's like up top or something. Yeah, I don't actually know. <laughs> that might be worth clarifying. Um, I'm concerned about pushing stuff further, and I think the reasons are kind of evident. Do I push this up or not? That's the question. I don't actually know. Because at this point, I don't think we can really extract anything here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and just go ahead and push stuff through. Oh, there's the exit. Hi, exit. Um, hmm. I am very nervous right now because I'm not really seeing any way to break through this. And I feel like that's kind of important. I also want to make another loop here, but I'm not seeing a way to break through any of this either. But, hang on a sec. There may be some hope. Or not. There's no hope. So I can't go over there. Hmm. I don't want to push that into a corner because there might still be a chance that we'll end up being able to do stuff there. Did we just ruin this by going this way? I have a feeling we did. That, that's kind of one of those things where it's like, I don't know what exactly is considered like a deadlock in something like this. Yeah, this section here, this is really kind of stumping me right now. Like, I can understand if I could get this bomb blown up. Like, that that's that would be my dream right now. But with the way this is laid out, I just don't see... Wait a minute. Hang on. There we go. Okay. The dream is alive, folks. The dream is alive. Okay. I'm going to try some stuff here, and it may be dumb, but we're going to do it. Okay. So I, I see where we're headed. So now the question is... What are we supposed to do here? I, I see a bunch of blocks. I see... Is that a path we could have gone into earlier? I wonder. Let me check that. I'm going to look at that. Yes, it is. Okay, good. So can I... Do I... Yes, I do have enough room to turn that around. Alright, so after this, I just need one more. One more, people. Do I have one more? Hmm. I am worried that we do not have one more. But we might be able to make it happen. If I could just get one block down here, I think we could push at least one of these. Like, let's play this out.
I could do that, and then I could get a block all the way around the entire shoot. Oh my gosh, if, if that's the solution, if that's intended, that is amazing. Oh my goodness, that is incredible. Okay, real quick. Okay, there are extras. There's at least two extras that you can get from that room. But I'm so glad you only need one, just to make the point come across. That was a really cool level. I absolutely loved it. Um, this is certainly going to be one of my top picks for CCLP5 hands down. All right, everybody. Next time, we're going to start with Broken Paradise. So I hope to see you then. I'm hoping it will be the final video. Um, I do know what the last level is. It's the, the counterpart to level 75, which was the halfway point where uh, Jeffrey has a, or, uh, a Josh medley, whereas Josh made a, a Jeffrey medley back then. So I hope you'll enjoy, you'll look forward to that. Thanks so much for coming down today. This has been a lot of fun, and I will see you for what will hopefully be the finale next time.